Hey, what's up, YouTube? So today, I'm going to be removing the governor of this 459 CC because there could only be one governor, and his name is Sam. So you already know that I got to come out. Taking it out, get my max speed, and we're going to send it. All right, everyone. So the first thing I'm going to do is drain the oil. Here we go. See, they had brand new oil. And that's just the first time I took it out. I guess the oil got dirty because of the, all the mud riding. This could be mud, in, so it could be, you know, mud in there. So I would say you guys should change your oil after every two, two runs. So every time you guys take your your go-kart or whatever, your mini bike riding, and you're going through mud like I was. So you see all that all that brown stuff? That's mud. So that means the water got into your filter, into the carburetor, into your oil. Check it out. Looks so satisfying. So we're gonna let that drain out and then we're gonna get back to you. And next step will be to take out the side cover. So I'm gonna let that drain out and I'm gonna turn the engine on the, on the side. So when I take off the side cover, none of the gears fall out. So maybe we should just take off the gas tank first so the gas don't spill or maybe I should just do it as is. We'll see, I guess I'll just do it the way it is. I could always line the gears back up. But yeah, check that out. Dirty oil. Only rode it one time. <clears throat> it's not bad because, you know, we got into a mud situation. So there it is. A little muddy. It's not as bad. Let me see. Yes, I, I can feel the little mud particles in my hand my fingers so yeah that's what it was all right so we'll be right back all right everyone so we back so the first thing you want to do is disconnect your oil sensor got that right here and that's to connect your battery that's going to be in another episode we're going to figure that out because i'm not good with wiring but So we're gonna take that out. Unplug that right there. Set that to the side. We might use that again, I'm not sure. Now when it comes to this right here, I guess I could just leave that in there. If I really wanted to, I could take it out and put a bolt. But I'm just gonna leave it there. And now the next step is, we're gonna take out all these bolts right here. Take out the oil filter. And I like to set my bolts in the a, in a same pattern so I know where they go. Even though they could actually be the same size. Pretty much look the same. Okay. So, yeah. Okay, so we're good. All the same size. So now I'm going to gently take it out. Might use a rubber mallet. Tap it out. And, and then we'll go from there. All right, guys. So we back. We took off the side cover. That's the governor, arm, the governor right there. We're going to remove that. We're going to pry it out from the bottom. If not, we'll... Destroy it into a thousand pieces and get remove it clean up all the stuff around it And then from here what I'm gonna use I'm gonna use the bolt cutters. I got some bolt cutters right there 
I'm just going to cut that off right there, snap that right off so I don't leave no debris in there. I don't want to use the grinder. And then I'm going to clean up the rest of the oil. See the gasket still in one place, one piece. And, um, and then that's it. It's basically it. Same thing as just like a 420 Hemi. All right, guys, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this Dremel, cut this up to a 1,000 pieces, like I said, because I don't feel like trying to take it out. I'm not going to reuse it anyway, so I'm just going to take it out. And if you don't have a Dremel, work like a caveman. You'll figure it out. You can cut it out from the bottom. You can take out the clip. We're just going to cut it up. Take it out. Clean up everything real good. All right, guys. So after I use my Multimax to remove all the plastic particles, little gearing. Now what I want to do is, you see this little washer right here? This washer needs to come out. But you got this little ring right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut this off with the grinder. You don't really need to cut it off with the grinder. You could just take off the ring, take off the washer, but I'm gonna take this off anyway. So I'm gonna cut that off with the grinder, right there. Clean the whole engine up real good with some brake cleaner, you know, the rags and all that stuff, and then put everything back together. But right before I put everything back together, I'm gonna cut this little um, governor arm off right here. I'm gonna snap that off with the uh, bolt cutters. Clean the engine up real good in the inside. Put everything back together. And we should be good to go. All right, everyone. So it's really important you take your time, clean it good. Take out any any metal any metal um, stuff that's in there. Same thing in the inside. Went through a bunch of rags. Get yourself a box of rags for your garage. Clean everything real good. And we still gotta cut this one off. And that's about it. So the reason why I cut it right here is because I'm actually going to leave it there. So I don't have to plug it in there with another screw. So as soon as I get my all high performance parts and all the compression starts to build up, that's when I'm going to have to replace this part. But for now, I'm going to leave it because I can still use it as a, um, you know, for my throttle ring kitchen and all that stuff. So I'm going to leave it as is. Really simple. And so you already know, so as soon as I get my high performance parts, and um, I'll be switching that over. And that's it. Put everything back together. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And we out of here. Don't forget to send it.